Hey everybody, welcome back to Disney Source Arena. So here we are on my buy to play account, um, looking at my white rabbit. Now we'll see in my in my lookings around and stuff. I have seen people saying that the white rabbit could be a must have for raids, especially as if you're still working your way through um, the Siege on Olympus. People are saying that the white rabbit is might be a must have raid to. And you're like, well, why is that? Well, a couple things, a couple reasons. You know, he steals, you look at here and he steals turn meter. That could be valuable. Haste and calling um, random teammates to attack. And that's pretty big. This gives a 9% heal, as you'll see here in a minute. Then there's this, Queen of Hearts. Um... Using the always or my ways ability. Kind of big. This uh, slow and giving uh, other teammates haste. Could be big. Really big. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Deals damage. Um, of course, that's the basic. Deals damage and reduces turn meter. And he gains turn meter. So, okay. So, you're like, that's cool, right? I, I, I understand what you're saying, but... I'm going to need some more convincing. Well, good thing I'm here for you. Here we are. This is the White Rabbits. This is the White Rabbits DSA um, dot, dot fan page. Or you can see that he, you know, what it does is max level. He, he deals damage, of, you know, 51, 16. And he reduces turn meter by 15% and haste. And then assistance where, where like, he calls everybody to assist. Um... And then he 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 then he restores health and he gains speed and he extends speed, and then your your Majesty members of jury loyal subjects he where he does where he puts slow and haste and then he calls the White Queen to use always or my ways regardless of magical charge with a fifteen percent bonus. Ooh, money. And then you get down here to this one where he's like on Terminator start. He's going to give haste and haste and haste and adjacent teammates and slow on all this. Yeah. Yeah. And look. And, and then you look at his stats. He's got um, 25, 2558 offense. He's got the defense is 1,000. He's got 2468 for health. He's got no recovery. No crit chance, no no crit power, speed's okay. You got good potency, tenacity, accuracy, evasion. Why? What else? What? So tell me what else. Well, let's look at the White Queen. Always or my ways. The sec, the first special. Purge three helpfuls. Purge three helpful effects from all opponents. Then deal damp. Then deal about four thousand damage to all opponents. Huh? Deal print ten percent bonus damage when uh, helpful effects are purged up to fifty percent. Ten percent chance to silence the opponent for one turn, but in raids, this is guaranteed. And oh, by the way, if you happen to have card soldiers out, then call then call the sarge the, then the. Then you're going to call the card the card soldiers to attack random opponents, and then you're going to gain copies of the purge effect. And the duration is refreshed. So, so you're like, well, what's what's exciting about that? Well, pain and panic. Anytime, pain and panic. On the basic here, if you have Hades on the fleet on the field, Pain and Panic's going to deal damage. It's going to do more if you happen to be in stealth, and then Hades is going to assist. Hades is going to do his basic, his choo -choo -choo -choo. which you know, if you have empowered Hades, that's just going to make him more vo more vicious. Okay, and you can see that that Pain and Panic is a little slower, and he has less health. You know, he has potency, he has more accuracy, but he's slower than the White Rabbit, maxed out. Maurice. 
Deal damage. Maurice gains one charge up to tier 9. If you happen to have a summoned on the field, the summons, he's going to call two of the random summons to attack. Okay. Then this, it's going to gain a handful. If you put it on office character, it's going to gain crit. They're going to gain a uh, taunt. If they're defense, they're going to gain handful of immunity. If they are um, supports, he's going to gain two more charges. If the tar if you put it on a summon, um, they're going to spawn a copy of themselves with full health and grant them grant two magical abilities. So yeah, um, he calls he calls summons Maurice calls summons to attack on the random on the random, and then he'll if you happen to copy this, then he's going to give offense up to him. Let's go back to the White Rabbit. So let's just let's just uh, let's just let's just theorograph this out real quick. Let's assume you have White Rabbit and the White Queen on, on the Queen of Hearts on a raid team. This is before we know about the rest of the of the of the kids of the other members of the Alpha Wonderland team. Okay, this has the potential to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, right? I don't know, okay? Okay? But, let's say, let's say you, let's say you have tornadoes out, and you shout turn one with the, uh, with the tornado. And that kills everything. And then you use and then you use this ability. Um and you're doing you know, let's say you do this and you get turn meter back with this. And then you don't have you don't have what you're what you're necessarily trying to do in your raid going at. So you can do this as soon as, you know, maybe maybe she uses a turn where she puts out cards and then you do this again. It's gonna wipe the field. Now, usually, from my standpoint, that's all it takes to get the engine, the in, the raid engine going. And we'll see, and we'll see here because I'm gonna I'm gonna take you in. We're gonna try to we're gonna try what is probably not gonna be a great raid run, but we're gonna try a raid run. My club is doing um, a, a raid, so we're gonna go try to do a raid. I'm gonna try to and I'm gonna try to show you. Sort of what I'm talking about. I don't know that this is going to go exactly as planned. Maybe I get on a great run. Maybe this video is going to be a lot longer than I intended it. If it does end up being... I will just probably cut it um, here in a little bit. But I just want to... But the reason I'm going to show you this run is, is just so you can have some idea of what I'm talking about. And you can just imagine how this would potentially work with the white rabbit if you had him in concert though this is my lava team so we're not going to use this we, what we are going to do is we are going to put this team out it's going to be hero we're going to go where's uh where's he at this is not complete gizmo uh, and we don't want hero's leadership we want gizmo's leadership we want uh Eve, and then you're like, who else are you going to put in? We're going to put in Calhoun, okay? Then QOH, Queen of Hearts, okay? Then suppose we're going to be going with, if you're not familiar with how this team works, it's going to be Shadow and either the Infinity Die, which it can be problematic. And maybe we'll just run with it. We're just gonna see how it works. You can do this, or you can do the good old uh, Spirit of Mufasa. But I just want to get this out here. So I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine that instead of Calhoun, because that's probably who you're gonna be taking out of this team if you do this, you probably take Calhoun out. I don't know that for sure. 
But it's going to be Cal. It's probably going to be either Calhoun or Hero. I would assume. Uh, to me, this three team work. And if you're not familiar with how this raid team works, we're just gonna we're just gonna show you. You can you can take your time. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit because people tend to run these super fast. So we're on two, and you can see now that he's got the, that we got now heroes. You know uh, he's doing his thing because we're at two. We get the things out, so now we need to taunt. So uh, and we use the Gizmo Ducks leadership. If you're not familiar, then we come over here and you look at this. This has a um, half a you know, 50% chance to inflict down. So this is what this is what we do here on the tornado. It didn't land. It's unfortunate. Now this is where we use the always or my ways, like we talked about. And this is going to silence and essentially kill all the tornadoes. And keep in mind, this is the way, this is the Queen of Hearts first turn. So the tornado's already gone, she, and the tornado, and the tornado has already put out these spawns. And now we use this to clear the field. And so now we're back rocking. And this, I haven't seen this work too much in the right. So what we just, so what you basically just do is you're supposed to just do this with, with this. And now you um, throw some speed so that she crits the next time she goes. And by no means have I perfected this team because I have not. So I just, but I'm just putting this out here to show you how this team is supposed to work. And she's still not landing the thing. So now we get the card soldiers out. Turn two. So we've got these out before before she's re we get the card soldiers out before she's put out before the tornado has put out um, another round of um, tornadoes. And so all you're doing is you're just keeping that up. And now ideally what you want to have by this time is you want to have, I mean, you, I mean, he's going to do a, a, you know, she's not going to do a great job of, but she's going to, you know, we got rid of a few tornadoes anyway, but that's not what's helpful. And, and we probably should have ended up running, um, have those horsemen honestly to, just to get us a little bit ability to clear some more of these uh, tornadoes out because we, we could potentially be in a world of hurt here in a second because they've got two more tor tornadoes up and as soon as the tornado goes, uh, you know, you can imagine. But but this is how the team essentially works. And the team and you want to be able to get um, Eve out. As, you know, you want to be able to take as much damage so that you can shadow Eve and then use the die to, to buff Eve um, in order to make the team work. Unfortunately... We're in good shape, and they're going after Eve, and they're going with Hero, and now Hero's got to evade. And so, what we're still trying to do is we don't want to, as we don't, as we want to get a buff out to put back on, um, what's his name on, on Eve here. But I don't know that we're going to have an opportunity. We're going to hold on as long as we can to see if we can get a buff out for Eve. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw the magic in out there. And we're going to hope Hero has an ability that's going to come up. Uh, he does. Oh, so okay, so we're going to, so we're going to do, we're going to do, this is going to be a little tight, but, but, but I think we'll be fine. Is what we're going to do here is we're going to, is we're going to buff Eve, is we're going to buff Eve to give her the crit up. And now he's died. He's died, which is fine. That was a crucial play that we did did just then, and we're going to be in a little hurt because we had the potential to put the the shadows out, but we did not. So we're going to be in a little hurt. So here what we're going to do, we're going to do this, and you see how it gave um, the guaranteed crit to Eve. We've got offense up on Eve, so now we're going to so now we're going to shadow the Eve. So now that the Eve has speed up crit and all this, I'm going to put the beacon out just so the beacon can take. Um, maybe some of the, some of the damage instead of having us take it, it also, it's also going to throw out some, uh, things here. So we got one of the tornadoes down, which is not, this is by no means the best or most idyllic run, but it could help because now the tornadoes have, have buffs. And so hopefully Eve will attack Eve's, Eve's not attacking, um, which I'm a little, whatever by but it's fine 
And so maybe now we're going to try to get rid of at least one of these tornadoes, hopefully. And yeah, we got rid of one of them. So I think... All right, so we've only got to take damage from the one tornado, which is fine. So we're fine there. And now because and now we can because this one's still got a offense up, we're going to go ahead and reshadow this one. So then we have threes out, which is going to help us out a lot. And now we can shout again, but we don't want to shout. Um, what we do want to do is we're going to go ahead and get another. And so next time the tornadoes are up, if the E's don't take them out, we can always shout because we've, we've still got Queen of Hearts up. So keep that in mind. And we've got the other Eves. And this is, this is how this, I mean, I usually don't, you know, you, you, ideally you want your, your Eve to be the last insta kill out here. And uh, this is where this, this thing becomes problematic because now that you're in insta-kill stage, now that he took out Hero, you're fine. But you don't want your next insta-kill to be Eve. Ideally. But a lot of times you, you can't, you have no control over who gets what when and, you know, all this fun stuff. We're still in good shape. We're doing really well. We're, we're, as you can see, we're already past the empowered stage, which is fine. There are no to no new tornadoes out, so we don't have to yell again. So we don't need to yell. So we're going to keep the yell in our back pocket. And ideally, when you would want to use the the back to back yell is in the early stages when you're trying to. Um, that's more important. But now you know having the white rabbit out, and you see she insta killed Eve. She insta-killed Eve second. So now we're left with two shadows. And we're gonna, I'm not going to try to make the best of this run. But I have, but it's going to be, it's going to be really tough. Because you, there's no way to protect. And the fact that, that it didn't, it's a good thing we still have the Queen of Hearts out here. And I have no idea what just happened there. We just got wrecked. Our whole team just got wrecked. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and try to salvage this the best as I can. But, you see, he was supposed to wait. He was supposed to wait in the, on the RNG. And maybe you're like, yeah, I see what you did there. And I think I know what I did there wrong, honestly. I think if I, you know, I could run this back and, and have a do-over. But you can see now that we've lost... We just don't have the... We just don't have the... Uh, the chutzpah to do anything more in this run because we can't even we can't even take out the rest of these of these shadows because they took out the eve prime and these eve shadows are just not strong enough to be able to do anything so that's the problem in that we did do, i will say that i think i did something i should have gone after the the spawn tornadoes earlier and I should have not have gone after the big tornado when we did. I think that was where my problem. Because when you do that, you speed up the tornado and you give him turn meter. Going after these ancillary, these outer tornadoes, do not feed him turn meter. So if we, we if I if I would have saw that, then I would have gone after, you know, these these um, outer tornadoes. And then I could have saved and the way we probably we likely would have made it back to the Queen of Hearts. So that we could use her again for another run. But anyway, the idea behind this team is, you know, if you were able if, if you were able to take out Calhoun and you put the White Rabbit in there, you would essentially have the same team because you would have Hero still give still giving shields and still giving upgrades to Eve. You would still have Gizmo Duck giving shield and um what does he give here? Shield and magic to Eve. Um, not that you really need it. To Eve, and then you have what? And then you have the the Queen of Hearts and the White Rabbit. And the White Rabbit would be able to call that shout to basically prevent what, just, what we what you saw just happen to this team. 
So that's the crux of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to use this run. We're just going to, we're just going to end up forfeiting this run. Um, so I know there was at least one person out there who wanted a raid run. And I just wanted to show you that even though we did not end up doing well. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to, uh, to uh, show you what I think um, some people that I've been seeing are saying about Eve. And I think, that's, I think that's something important to make is that you understand the usage of somebody like the White Rabbit. So, I mean, maybe maybe you have decided that you're going to go after um, the March Hare first. You know, if you're saving, your, if you're keeping your powder dry for when the rest of the characters get released. Hopefully later this week. And if that's the case, that's fine. But if you're somebody that already went through the campaign, you're like, let me get this note open, let me get this note open, maybe consider farming the White Rabbit, maybe consider stopping the March Hare farm for now, and starting on the White Rabbit. Because I want you to take, I want you to take a look, we're going to go, I want you to take a long look, and we're going to bring, I'm going to bring up the uh, DSA fan page here for the White Rabbit, and I want you to look at these abilities. And I want you to look at these two these two abilities. You know, you you don't you're not going to want to use this on your first play if you're if you're doing it on the raid. You're going to want to save this for when for when um, the White Queen's ability is down and when you see those tornadoes pop up. But this, you know, giving haste and and removing turn turn meter speed meter that could be that can be huge. Also, haste and granting. This one, haste in grant speed meter and restore max health and gain haste and counterattack. And then call adjacent teammates to assist. That's... And then this one down here. I mean, just look at the case. Just look at the case. Think about... And of course, I'm not even thinking this out all the way. I'm just, I'm just doing it off the top of my head. But I'm thinking the White Rabbit... If, especially if you're if you're trying to weigh a, to figure out a team to use, I mean, if you're not using the the white the, the queen of hearts, and you're like, I looked at her and she's and yeah, I just I just feel better about Oogie and some of these other. That's fine. But I want you to look at her kit, and then I want you to to use it with this one, because this one, if you're if you're if you're struggling with where to fit in the queen of hearts, into your raid run. Whether it's on Heroic or whether it's on Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, or Tier 4. Look at this and be like, you know what? If I get the, if I get the White Rabbit, the Queen of Hearts becomes a lot more viable. Because I think this makes the Queen of Hearts a lot more viable. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. I appreciate the time. Thanks for watching. I will be back on Wednesday or Thursday. Hopefully they will drop... Hopefully they'll drop the other three tunes so that we can know how this team works. If not, if they come up with something, I'll talk about it. Until then, have a good day. I will see you later. We'll see ya. Bye.